So I thought I'd do a little YouTube on two, two and a half days in County Durham or the North East anyway. Um, I've not really planned anything but today I found on the map Hamsterley Forest so I'm coming to check this out. Uh, I've just drove to the forest and it's £7 to park all day so I've just found a little lay-by here. Uh, it's only about a mile walk I think but I've got a river, iron brew flavour water so hopefully I'm just going to follow it and this goes all the way through the forest so there should be some waterfalls and some cute little dipping spots so we'll see. So I thought I'd try with my hair down today, but that's about five minutes, so we've got cat back on. Um, but I would definitely recommend parking in the lay-by just before the forest, if you come on this walk, because you follow the river up, and then you've just got this one field to cross, and then you're in the car park. So it's taken me maybe 10, 15 minutes messing about, um, and you save seven quid. You get to walk along the river, which is so nice. I've not passed anyone yet. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. Definitely recommend said lay-by. Hey, look at this building. I feel like that's the sort of place I want to go in. Not that there'll be a lot in it, but I like it with my cup of tea. Anyway, I reckon we've even got a toilet block here. So, we're gonna nip in. See if I've got in another wild. So I just walked past the play area and I got a few looks because obviously it was like for little kids, little of me. And then I've just walked past this one. I've got monkey bars look. I remember when I was a kid I actually spent three days in hospital because of them. So I'm going to have another go now while I'm on me and no one knows where I am because I'm clever. So another thing I will mention about this walk as well, there's lots of um, mountain biking paths if you're into mountain biking um, and it looks quite fun like through the woods and like the nice paths, the fun paths but there's also these sort of paths that I think this one is actually like a footpath and bike path joint like the easy bike path but the harder bike paths are like through the woods over like tree roots and they look quite fun. So I thought I'd show you, I've just come across this one lot, um, a bike path that looks quite fun. I mean, flying down that, yeah, would be a lot of fun, I think. Luckily there's no one coming, otherwise I'd be a gonna.
So I'm just heading back to the car now. I've done probably seven or eight miles, not too far. Um, just up and around some trails. There's loads of different trails to do. So you could spend all day there. There's a cafe there. Um, and yeah, it's been very quiet today. I've seen hardly anyone. Um, but yeah, I'm just heading back to the car now and we'll see where I get up to tomorrow. So I've come to Easington Colliery today, which is Pit Village. It's just north of Peterley. Um, oh, I don't know which way to go. But Peterley is one of the poorest places in the UK. So I wanted to come and check it out just to see what it was like. So we've got a fairground packing up there. Um, but yeah, it's coastal, so I want to head to the coast path now. But up to yeah, I mean the sun's out but I've got a really good feeling from this place. So this to be poorest area in the UK. Um Quite nice to have this on your doorstep. Not a soul on it. I've seen a couple of people walk along the cliff top. Um, but yeah, I mean, when the sun's out, delish. So now it's took me like under the railway bridge and it's brought me down and then I'm heading to the beach and I think because there's a water course that runs down here like a river stream um, so I will probably have to cross it on the on the beach but because I don't get the beach that often I wanted to do this one I quite like sand I'll have to take my shoes off but yeah it's cute So now I'm just walking back up a coastal path. That's such a nice beach. There's just been a couple walk past me. But other than that, on there look. Other than that, thought to myself. Just how I like it. Anyway, bit of a climb. So we we'll get a bit of out of breath. A bit of out of breath. A bit out of breath, but yeah, delish. which is just up there um, mm, I'd say it were a typical seaside town but not really it's quite industrial I mean that's the port that's just got workers on it I don't know what that is a heap of coal there's a heap of iron um, yeah it's just quite built up um, I went into the back streets which is okay uh, and then I went to Asda and got my dinner. So I got a, some reduced salad, chicken salad and strawberries. 
at £1.50 for both. So yeah, I'm just going to have a walk back down this way now. And then I'm cutting inside, inland a little bit. And I don't know, it takes me to see some tower or something. So we'll see what's there. So I thought I'd include a little bit of back street um, walking into this video just to keep it real. So I came up the coast and because I'd prefer to make a circular, I've come like at the back of some industrial buildings. As you can see, not the prettiest. Up, oh, yep, just look here. Buildings. But yeah, it's not always really, really pretty. But this will take me to some new places that I've not been before, so there's like a tower and stuff, so yeah, it should be worth it. So I did wonder whether those horses would come and check me out, but I left me alone, which is good, because five of them are quite beasty. And I'm walking up a hill, I'm hot and I'm panting so we didn't need that as well did we so I just had to climb through under electric fence and now I've got some mega eager beaver horses here six of them in a little field let's hope they like me because they're coming for me Big ones as well. Obviously, it wouldn't be me if the path didn't get just a little bit sketchy. So, I'm going through these woodlands. No real path. Um, but hopefully there's a bridge at the bottom somewhere. Um, and I can cross the river or stream, whatever it is. If not, I might be paddling. So today's dilemma is this, so I've got a salad from Asda, um, back in C, whatever it's called, that place, um, and I've just poured extra sauciness on it, so it's like extra juicy, uh, and it doesn't come with a fork anymore, so I've got to eat it with my bare hands. Um, I've just picked up two pieces of wheat uh, straw um, and took the outside off thinking that it'll be cleaner inside. And then it opened it up and like a little slug fell out. So that put me off of that. So yeah, bare hands it's going to be. Caveman in it. So I'm just walking back to my car now. Um, I had a nice walk through town. Nice-ish. Um, but yeah, I'm going back now. And that's me done for my North East tour. I think maybe tomorrow morning we'll have another little go before I go home but yeah so that was a pretty mad experience actually just walking through town was like completely different vibe to walking along the coast up um so walking along the coastal path was so nice everyone was really really friendly and just wanted to chat the views the sunshine everything was just like perfect and then I did the circular and I come back through town and it's like quarter to five now, I think. So most people, well, a lot of people are back at work, uh, back from work. And yeah, there's just like, there's people arguing on every corner. There's people look at you like, I don't know, just nasty. And then there's people that are obviously drugged up and just walking around, just clueless. And now I'm just like, everyone's looking at me because obviously I look, um, I don't fit in because I've got my hiking backpack, Dora the Explorer backpack on. 
Um, and yeah, it's just, oh, it's just mental. Oh, up to there. Uh, yeah, but mm, I don't think I'd fancy living here. Summed up.